Rupert, hello. Hi. How, how are you? I'm very good, thanks. It's safe to say this is not a royal film like any we've seen before. Um, well, it's not. Uh, it's it's more of a romance, and okay. uh, I think it's uh, an interesting royal film in that it's taking a, a moment in history that, uh, and it's embellishing it and uh, romanticising it, and, and it's turning it into something of a Roman holiday okay. uh, type of film in a way, and. Uh, I think uh, it's w one of the things that's great about it is seeing this country after the war. Yeah. And I think Julian has done the best, the best yeah. bits that he's done, the director. He's a great director. But his crowd sequences yeah, yeah. Amazing. are really amazing. And um, the moment Big Ben strikes 12 and the Queen is in front on the other side yeah. of, the uh, of the gates, so to yeah. speak, is a really good moment in cinema because... First of all, it's such a graphic moment. You have a queen and she's outside of her palace and she's watching her parents inside. And then he makes it in such a great way and his crowd is so good uh, that it's... Uh, I, when I watched it, I was really kind of blown away by that because it makes you also sit back and wonder just at how this... how people manage to get through yeah. that period, get through being bombed, having no nothing to eat, no food, no water uh, and all that. And then it makes you think of, of ourselves because we're so... Pampered now. Pampered now. Yeah, uh, you absolutely. know, our idea of austerity is really not what theirs was. And, and it's quite, not humbling exactly, but it's quite amazing to watch those moments. And I think the, the, the greatest moments in the film are uh, when they're in the crowds and, and seeing the English... Not your parts. Not, well, no. <laughs> well, I think my parts are really good, actually. I, when I saw um, me... Because playing a character like George VI, particularly, obviously, after Colin, after Colin. has got the Oscar for it... Uh, and uh, and you know has made it so iconic. It's it's it is a challenge just for that. Um, and I think I, when I watched the film, I I was really proud of me and Emily uh, because I thought we really pulled off. We pulled something together. Yeah. We made it coherent. I mean, and it's it's forgive the pun, but you are a straight man in this, and very much you're you're very much on screen, a large and life character all the time. And this time you're really pulling it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think was it that was hard. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think it was. I've known Emily a long time, and uh, uh, you know, I, I, we're, we're friends, and uh, so it was quite e fun for us and I good. I had the feeling that you wanted just to arch an eyebrow every now and then, especially the two of you, because you've got that kind of ch chemistry together. <coughs> well, particularly since I felt when I got into my costume, my naval costume, I did feel a little bit like Robbie Williams in the Take That <laughs> Comeback tour, uh, slightly. <laughs> but but um, but no, it, the, you know, the, the, our scenes were very nicely written scenes and really you know um beyond playing a king i think uh, we were we were mostly playing characters with different views it was quite well our part was quite well yeah. written for us in a way because she has it. one view of how our children should be brought up and i have a slightly different one and then we're looking at these other children our our people yeah. uh, outside and we know something that they don't which is that this moment of celebration is going to have a kind of crash afterwards yeah. um, uh, which is also is something very touching about it in a way and also because you've sorry because you've actually met princess margaret so it's, it's a weird thing for you because you've you you know the real person and, and where her life was was going as well well i, I only i met princess did you margaret. met oh, right you met <coughs> once <coughs> okay but, uh, just at the theater or the we went to the theater toilet together. anecdote or something but. uh and it, we went to the theater together and uh and it was a very funny evening but i can't really claim to know okay. her <laughs> um, I, I love Princess Margaret. I yeah. think in, uh, I think she's right up there uh, with you know all the great uh, you know historical royals because her life was uh, very romantic and quite tragic. I think in a way, uh, and I think Belle uh, is a great Princess Margaret. Uh, you can feel with Belle's performance, you know, this girl who's got really no role but desperate to get out yeah. and see the world and to take yeah. part. Really, and uh, I think she does that. Uh, she's she's very naive, and she's rather she's trusting like yeah. a kind of bird who's never seen humans before yeah. and landing on anyone's shoulder. Uh, but I think she, uh, I think they both do play their parts yeah, beautifully. No, they're wonderful.